these are the ingredients that I'm using in this recipe. I'm using two packages of tempeh. I like the one with the flax for this recipe. I find it um, cuts up and crumbles nicely. So that's going to be my meat substitution replacement. I'm using some green peas, some yellow corn, and I am using this package of frozen quinoa. You could use regular quinoa or um, any kind of grain like rice, barley, buckwheat, anything you want. Or you could skip this. This isn't necessary. I just I just like adding it. I'm going to be using two sweet potatoes and two regular p potatoes, but you could do all regular, all sweet potato, whatever you like. And this part's optional. I like to mash in some white beans, mash that in with the potatoes. I'm using two onions. I'm using a lot of garlic. I like garlic. You could add as much or a little as you would like. I have a package of mushrooms. And I love this um, vegan gravy, so I'm going to use a little bit of that. And a little bit of Bragg's Liquid Aminos. Um, for the potatoes, I am using hemp milk. You could use any kind of unsweetened, unflavored, non-dairy milk. Or you could just use um, vegetable broth if you don't have that. I'm using low-sodium vegetable broth to cook up the onions and garlic and mushrooms and stuff like that. Uh, add a little liquid and I am using some black pepper. You could use cayenne pepper if you want. I'm using thyme because whenever I cook with mushrooms I always add thyme. If you have fresh thyme that's even better and sage would also go really uh, nicely in this. I'm using some cumin and some paprika on the top. Let's get cooking. I peeled and chopped the potatoes and I put them in a pot with some water and I am going to boil them until they are tender and I could poke them with a fork. And this, you could also bake the potatoes and then mash them up because I've done that when I had leftover baked potatoes and that worked just fine too. So you could boil them or bake them, whatever you would like. I chopped up the two onions and I'm just going to saute that until it cooks down a little bit. I used the low sodium vegetable broth just to help it cook. I just added the chopped garlic. I cut up some garlic and I added that in. Now I'm going to cook that down. I washed the mushrooms, I removed the stems and I cut them up and now I'm going to saute them with the onions and garlic. I just added my spices. I added about a half a tablespoon of cumin, about a half a tablespoon of the thyme, and a little black pepper to taste. And I'm going to mix that all together and let it cook down. I chopped up the tempeh into small little pieces and I added that to the mushrooms and onions and garlic and I'm going to mix that together and if you wanted to you could only use one package of tempeh that would be just fine too. I added about a cup of frozen peas and a cup of corn. You could really add as much or a little as you would like. I'm going to add a little bit of this Bragg's liquid aminos. I don't measure but I'd say it's about a teaspoon just a little bit. You could add as much as you would like. I'm going to add probably less than half of this container. Again, you could add as much or a little as you would like. So I'm probably going to add that much. So my potatoes are finished. I drain them and I put them in this large bowl. I top them off with the can of beans. I rinse the can of beans off and I put them on top. Again, this is optional. I just like beans. It adds some extra goodness, some extra good, you know, fiber and stuff. Uh, you don't have to. And I put some black uh, pepper on top. And I added probably a little less than half a cup of the hemp milk. Uh, you want to start off with a little bit and then add more as you go, you know, to make it more, um, you know, liquidy 
if it's too thick. I'm just adding a little bit just to, you know, make it a little creamy. And I want to show you this. This is optional, but if you want to make it more like real uh, mashed potatoes and more rich and creamy, you could add a non-dairy vegan butter like this. Earth Balance is a really good vegan butter, but I'm not using that because it tastes good on its own and I'm not eating it just as mashed potatoes. It's going on top of a dish with so many other good flavors, so it's really not needed. And I'm using this um, hand, you know, ma uh, manual hand mixer. Um, if you want it to be more smooth and creamy, you can use an electric one. But I'm doing it by hand, so I'm going to mash this and move on to the next step. I took a casserole dish and I put the layer of tempeh, mushrooms, onions, garlic, peas, and corn on the bottom and I flattened that out. Next I added the layer of quinoa. I topped it off with my mashed sweet potatoes, potatoes, and beans and I sprinkled some paprika on top and now I am just going to put this in the oven and bake it at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. I just took it out of the oven and it's all done cooking. This is what it looks like and I am going to plate it up. And here it is all plated up. I added a little bit of my homemade vegan sour cream, so if you would like the recipe for that, click above. And if you're wondering what you could do with that leftover gravy, because I saved about half of it, I still have that leftover, I put it in a Tupperware and later on during the week I will uh, cut up some potatoes and bake them in the oven and make some potato wedges and you could either pour a little bit of this on top or dip it in and it goes great. It's delicious together. So you could give that a try too. And thanks for watching. Enjoy.